Hey toy fans, I'm D21 Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we're once again looking at those courageous heroes in a half shell. That's right, we've got another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles review for you guys here today. And we're looking at the Mutation series of figures recently released by Playmates here at the tail end of 2014 as we head into 2015. And we have the Mix and Match Leonardo figure. Now if you're not familiar with the Mix and Match figures and what they're all about, they are a line of figures by Playmates designed to sort of ape the success of the Marvel Superhero Masters toy line. Of course, that toy line also extends to Hasbro's Transformers brand. And if you're not familiar with the Masters figures, basically they're a line of figures that separate at the head, at the arm, at the hip, at the knee, and they're figures that are designed to be pulled apart and reassembled with other figures in the line to create your own mashed up homemade superhero or villain. So with the success of this toy line, Playmates has decided to try to get in on the piece of the pie there, and they've released their own line of mix and match figures. Now if you haven't seen my previous Mutations Mix and Match reviews, definitely check out the links to Metalhead and Michelangelo that you see here on the screen. But these are basically toy lines where you can combine your Ninja Turtle figures with heroes or villains and create your own mutated Ninja Turtle figure. Well with the basics out of the way there guys, let's get things started by taking a look at the packaging for this Leonardo figure. As you come down the front of the box, you do have the logo for Nickelodeon and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TV series. You've got sort of a greenish, yellowish, tealish color scheme to the packaging and an image of Leonardo rendered in show graphics. You then have a blister bubble that does house the Leo figure inside as well as his accessories and alternate pieces. And then towards the bottom of the box, it does announce this is a Mutations Mix and Match figure. And you have an image there in the lower left of Leo mashed together with a bunch of different characters. Flipping this package around. As you come down the back of the box, you once again have logos for Nickelodeon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and the Mutation series. You have some general information for the mix and match figures, and then you do have a preview there of Leonardo mashed together with Tiger Claw, Shredder, Splinter, and a few other characters. And then towards the bottom of the box, you do have a complete lineup of all the other figures that are currently available in this first wave. Alright, well that's the packaging. Let's say we get this mix and match Leo figure out of the box and see what he's all about. Alright toy fans, here we have Mix and Match Leonardo out of the box and I'm very very happy with how this figure looks. I've once again got to give Playmates props for keeping this toy line in scale with the rest of the Turtle figures that already exist, for the most part. One thing that we noticed that is different about this line versus other Turtles we've seen before is originally all the TMNT figures were done in scale with each other as they appeared on the show. So we've got Donatello here, we've got Leonardo here, we have Raphael, and we have Michelangelo and you'll notice as you go down the line from Donatello to Michelangelo, the figures kind of get shorter. Let's try to back these up just a little bit, maybe it becomes a bit more apparent, but basically they are in scale with how they appeared on the TV show. With these new mix and match turtle lines, uh, based on my guess here, and probably that's what they're going for, all these mix and match turtle figures are basically the same height, and I think that's because the torso for these figures has to be the exact same, so all the parts are evenly interchangeable between each turtle in the line. So you don't end up with a turtle that's got shorter legs or shorter arms than another turtle in the line. And you'll see here with this Leonardo and this Michelangelo figure, the sculpt of the shell on the front there is the exact same shell with the sort of same battle wear marks and everything. They've just changed the belt that's going across the front of the figure. As you flip them around, largely it does appear to be the same shell on the back of the figure as well. And what I've noticed here is when you turn the figure sideways, uh, interestingly the left arm from Michelangelo and Leonardo does appear to be different, but then when you look at the right arm, it does actually appear to be the exact same sculpted arm, just of course molded in a different colored plastic and painted differently. Also, Michelangelo has slightly longer legs that need to be spread a little bit further apart than what Leonardo has, which are straight up and down legs that tend to be just a little bit shorter. The end result is turtles that are still the same height, but it's interesting to note that they didn't just use the exact same arms and legs on every turtle figure, just like they, would, they did with the torso here. Mix and match Leo comes with all the accessories that you see here. We of course start off with the twin katana blades, which any Leonardo figure should have. They do come in different sizes, a shorter one and a longer one. They are sculpted in the same silver plastic and they fit easily into the scabbard on the figure's back. The shorter sword goes on the left and the longer sword goes on the right. Those swords do fit comfortably into Leo's hands as well. And of course because we have a mix and match Leo figure here, he also comes with an alternate piece to mutate the turtle figure. So let's go ahead and pull off Leo's right arm and we're just going to put on this metal head arm. It fits on very nice and easily, a lot easier than you see with the Marvel Superhero Masters figures. And you see now that we have Leo already starting to be mutated. And of course with the more figures you have from this line, the more options you're going to have to mix and match your favorite character. Mentioning the mix and match pieces that this Leonardo figure comes with really brings me to my biggest complaint of this toy line as a whole. There are nine figures currently available in the mix and match toy line. Four of them, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatello, all come with pieces for Metalhead, whether they be arms or legs. But Metalhead is already a figure available in this line. If you get a non-turtle figure from this wave, Splinter, Shredder, Tiger Claw, you're going to get pieces for Donatello, again a figure who's already in this line. 
So basically, if you buy all nine figures in the line, you're going to end up with a bunch of duplicate pieces for Metalhead and Donatello that you don't even need. What I would have liked to have seen happen with this line, and I hope they address this in Wave 2, is that maybe they give you pieces for a figure who's not already available. Like maybe we could have gotten a head, torso, and legs and arms for Casey Jones. So if you're loyal to the line and you buy all nine figures, you've actually got a bonus tenth figure. I hope Playmates considers this moving forward, because outside of that, this figure line is really pretty great. Moving on to articulation, we can see that this Leonardo figure does have a head that can rotate a full 360 degrees and look down that far and up that far. Great range of motion because it's a ball joint. He's got a shoulder joint that'll spin all the way around and kind of move left and right. He's got a hip joint that'll spin all the way around and also move sort of left and right. And he's got the same range of motion here on the other side. Now five points of articulation may seem a bit too simple on the surface, but because they're all ball joints, you get a lot of great dynamic range and movement out of these joints, and I'm very happy that we can do a lot with the little bit that we actually have. I'm very, very impressed. Height-wise, we can see that Leonardo does come in right at about four and a half inches tall. For some size comparison, here we have Mix and Match Leo compared to the Battleshell Leonardo figure, and compared to Battleshell Donatello, Battleshell Raphael, and Battleshell Michelangelo. Once again, here he is compared to the Mix and Match Michelangelo figure, and Mix and Match Metalhead. And finally, here he is compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Wolverine. Alright, Toy fans, well that's my review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutation series Mix and Match Leo figure, released by Playmates in 2014. Overall, this is the toy line that you guys definitely want to pay some attention to. The Mix and Match Turtle line is really, really interesting. They mix and match very well, and it's easy to do, much easier than the Marvel Super Hero Master figures. I just wish that you didn't end up with a bunch of duplicate parts if you bought all nine figures in the wave. Hopefully they address that with Series 2, but as it stands right now, these figures are great stand-ins for the regular Turtle figures if you don't already have them, and they look great standing next to your Turtle figures you've already owned. So definitely give them a try. Well, thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.